Welcome to the first video of my NetData tutorial series. In this series, I will cover everything you need to know about NetData and two other pieces of adjacent software, Prometheus and Grafana. In this video, I will give you an overview of that software, so you know what it is used for. The next three videos will be about the installation of these three programs. After that, we are going to take a look at all the various kinds of configuration options, use cases and integration possibilities. Ok, so let's start by taking a broad look at NetData. NetData is a lightweight performance monitoring tool running on all kinds of Unix-like operating systems. For the purpose of this tutorial series, I choose to use Debian 10. NetData is special because it is extremely easy to get going, with lots of configuration options available for us to explore later. You can install it with one command and after a few minutes you get access to a beautiful dashboard that shows hundreds of charts which are displaying thousands of metrics. It automatically detects lots of third-party software like the Apache web server too. You also get lots of alarms out of the box which are monitoring your system and tell you when something is wrong. Ok, but what kind of stuff does NetData collect? Well, there's everything from CPU utilization, memory, network disks, file systems, all these things but on a per application, user or user group basis, as well as many other third party applications like different web servers, databases and many more. There's also another thing that sets NetData apart from other monitoring solutions like Nagios. It is not centralized. Every server works on its own, this removes any bottlenecks that you might run into when monitoring hundreds or even thousands of servers. This allows NetData to collect all its metrics every second, giving you a great level of detail. NetData does however have its shortcomings. The non-centralized architecture doesn't allow you to see if your servers are completely gone from the network and it makes it difficult to look at the bigger picture. It's let's attack and do everything automatically attitude also means that you won't be able to tell if specific programs or services stopped working. You can work around that by writing your own plugins that monitor your application and a custom alarm could tell you when something isn't behaving as it should. Metrics are also only kept for a few hours as they get stored completely in memory to minimize disk impact. To store my metrics long term I use Prometheus. This is basically a time series database, but with the advantage that it itself can pull data from NetData. This means that we only have to put all NetData servers in a central config, instead of telling each and every server to push its data to Prometheus. The last piece in the puzzle is Grafana. Grafana is a tool for creating beautiful dashboards filled with various graphs. It is useful for far more than just displaying server performance data. The custom nature of Grafana means that we need to create all charts ourselves, but that also gives us the option to combine data, even from different servers, together to better understand utilization patterns. The best part about this monitoring stack is that it is completely free to use and that you can also deploy it in your Docker environment, although I would advise you to install at least that data directly on the host for more monitoring data. Alright, that was already everything I have to tell you for today. Come back tomorrow to learn more about the installation of NetData. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. Have a great time and see you all tomorrow.